Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first day one review coming to the channel. This review is going to come from a free-to-play player in that perspective and someone who has loved RPGs since Final Fantasy II. This is Hero Wars Fantasy World from Nexters Global. It really reminds me of a game called Dragon Soul, a game that is unfortunately not around anymore, a game that I really enjoyed a few years ago. I've been playing this off and on for about four, maybe even five hours in the past 24 hours. So a game, gameplay is a bit like other RPGs that you may have played on mobile. Your characters have a set group of moves that are auto attack abilities and they have their ultimate ability, which you can use when a meter is filled. Uh, I guess we call it a, a super meter. Just looking for a piece of gear that we need that'll be easy to attain. So let's attack this level. It only costs six energy. The graphics are very, uh, I guess you would say Super Nintendo around that level, which is something I really like. Super Nintendo was a system that I really enjoyed at one time. But as you rank up your gear, you'll get more auto attacks. But your supers will never really change. Here's one of my favorite um, ultimates. We'll wait for the next little group. So first you have this shield, which prevents damage completely. And this one's my favorite. Just keeps blasting. Reminds me of like the Witch Doctor in Diablo. <laughs> really like that move. But yeah, there's a bunch of different ultimates. You have your tanks up front. For some reason, the main DPS is in the middle. I normally would assume that she would be more to the back, but hey, that's fine. Hey, we need to get our diamonds in AFK Arena. I forgot to do my <laughs> arena battles today. But yeah, as you upgrade, or I should say, as you find these pieces of gear, you'll be able to promote your character, and as they go up in grade, they'll be able to get more of these moves. And looks like each character will get four. We haven't gotten the final move. And you can level them up with your gold stack. Gold is very important in this. Let's get more of that totem damage. We need that. And these levels can't really exceed... Um, I don't believe they can exceed your, your hero level. And your hero level is capped out by your player level. Which, is, it's all pretty standard stuff. Let's see... There are a really good amount of quests starting on. I'm not sure if there will be this many throughout, but you have a lot of activities you can do to progress through the game. I really enjoyed how, just how much the game had to offer. You have your little missions that you eventually unlock that you can send your um, players on. Unfortunately, we're not high enough level to do this mission. So as you level up, more missions will become available to you. And you use all these little items to upgrade your characters in many different ways. They even have um, different types of skins that you can level up. There are just so many different ways to upgrade your character. Artifacts, which... Oh, it looks like we found one. Nice, what does that do? It gives us another four armor and four magic defense. Okay, very nice. Making our tank a little bit more tanky. Glyphs, I have not seen any of yet, so... Looks like we'll get those possibly tomorrow. And another another way to upgrade your character. So one thing I really do enjoy is just not feeling like my characters have a limit on how strong they can get. And it doesn't seem that way. At least um, in terms of day one, it seems like it'll be a very long time before I reach the limit. You have your little bosses, which I fortunately... Oh, can I challenge? I cannot challenge right now. But these bosses give you treasures and they give you these little little skin currency. So you can get, you know, the skins that you want on your favorite heroes. They require um, set heroes to attack them. I had a lot of trouble with this first one since I could only use one hero. And there may be even more content that I haven't unlocked yet. So in terms of uh, day one content, there was a lot to do a lot of positives just 
it was fun. It was fun for, so far, for, we'll say, four plus hours. Let me do a little battle. Why blah, blah, blah. Sorry I can't show you any arena. Unfortunately, you only get um, five arena battles per day. And that is definitely one of the cons. I think in terms of arena, the game that's doing it right, the most would be Raid Shadow Legends. You can PvP forever on that game. But, which brings me to a bit of the cons. And, you know, this is just the way it feels from day one. I'm not saying that the game is really pay to win, but from day one, it feels pretty pay to win. And we're gonna go over a bit of that. Um, one thing that I like is a lot of, a lot of games that have these um, VIP they do let you unlock some of it with, um, what's the word I want to use? You know, time put into the game. But that's not how I'm trying to say this. It's like you get seniority. <laughs> you know, free-to-play players, it's nice when they get a little bit of seniority. You know, just a couple VIP points. Um, I understand why a game may not want to give that to free-to-play players because, you know, they the game's here to make money. But that's the first one. And there is so many things that are walled by not having VIP and by not spending money. And the first one that kind of bothers me. <laughs> Uh-oh, we're low on energy. We can only do one more battle. Let's see. Let's see what item we need. Um, we have enough of those. We have enough rocks. We just we need to level them up. Get okay, now. All right, here we go. So this first one that really bothers me <laughs> is what's going on here, man. You have to use vi. You have to <laughs> get VIP to actually be able to do faster combat to speed up the game. I really think that should be something that's unlocked through beating a certain part in the campaign. I do not agree with that at all. I understand, you know, it's another benefit to add to your VIP package. Maybe instead of two times speed, you can make the VIP package be three times speed. But come on, man. <laughs> that should not be something that you have to spend money for. In my personal opinion. I understand, though, you gotta, you gotta do what you can to monetize. Alright, let's see a couple of these ultimates together. Wish we could have had more at once. Let's see, there we go. Got another one. Now another thing. A lot of these missions you need VIP for, or you need to spend money. Wait, sorry. I mean, over here, we have it where we need Valkyrie's Favor. That's what you spend uh, $4.99 for two weeks for to do this mission and you need to be VIP 8 to do this mission now nah. once again I understand <laughs> but it just it makes you feel like it just makes you feel like you're missing out by not spending money which is I understand maybe that's what you're going for with the uh, with the skins you can attain them but to get your basic skin you need 5,000. Now, from day one, it seems like 5,000 is going to take... Eh, I mean, I'm on the outside looking in, and I'm sure you'll be able to get more in the future. But it looks like it's going to take months. So months to be able to unlock a skin, <laughs> or hey, buy it for $14.99. So that kind of just feels like a wall there. And the last, last issue I have... Which, I guess it's good to say that the biggest issue I have is with the monetization. Because the gameplay, I enjoy it. The music and the sound, I enjoy it. And you can turn it off if you don't. But I feel like I can progress through the game a bit faster by watching commercials. <laughs> um, each commercial... Let me see if I can find that commercial currency. I'm not exactly sure where it is. Let's see if it's in inventory... That is a plus though right there. I wish in a lot of the RPGs I played that you could sell the gear that you're not using. 
and a few of them I've played, you cannot sell the gear. So that is another plus right there, gear selling. Let me see if I can find that last. So here it is. A game where you get more from watching a commercial than from playing the game, I, I don't know if I agree with. Now, I'm going to do it just because I want to progress as much as I possibly can. But the fact that I feel like I need to watch um, 10 commercials to keep up with the players that aren't watching 10 commercials, and I'm going to watch more than 10 because I'm going to watch all the ones over here as well. I don't know if I agree with that either. I would say most players would think of that as a con. Luckily, I have multiple devices. I'll play on my iOS while I'm watching my son play Call of Duty or, you know, we'll play some survival horror games together. So, I mean, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> I can multitask the commercials. But I think for a lot of people, that is going to be a huge con. I'm just... I do think uh, the rewards in-game should be a little bit better to match the rewards in your commercials. <laughs> um, and just um, one last small con is just the, the amount of time it takes to regenerate energy. I'm talking for, for me to fill up this 87 energy, it's going to take 12 hours. Now, you can log in at the right time. If you log in at certain times, you will get 60 energy, which is pretty good. But for the players who cannot log in at that particular time, you can go through your energy stack. We'll say 87 energy, even at regular speed. You can go through it probably in about... Hmm. Probably go through it in like 10 minutes. <laughs> So being able to play a game that you really enjoy for only 10 minutes at a time, I don't know, I think we should do a little bit something about that. And the fact that they would have to wait 12 hours to play for that 10 minutes. Once again, got to bring up Raid Shadow Legend, which, uh, yeah, you get um, energy every, I think you get one energy every three minutes, and there are a lot of ways to regenerate that energy free to play. But... So that's pretty much all I have, ladies and gentlemen. The gameplay, a lot of fun. Uh, monetization, I don't know. It just it feels like a little too heavy to me. I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button. I'm going to try to do one of these reviews at least once a week where I play a game as much as it can be played for a day and make a review on the second day. Y'all have a great day. That's a lot of days.